that's perfect. Seamus, we were sit, uh, sitting there chatting there the other day about you know being out there in front of the home crowd. We we're hoping for a big crowd. We got that. How did you think that was? Firstly. Yeah, no, obviously the result the result didn't go our way and what we wanted, but it was great playing in such a front of the big crowd and so many Irish fans, so it's, it's great. We really vibe off, off the big crowd and the Irish passion, so it's great. Yeah, it seemed to give you a good lift. Um, I mean, you get that amount of crowds for a League of Ireland game and they were here turning up for you guys, you know, at the same time as League of Ireland games were on, but uh, I just I felt like you know there was some really good football being played out there, yourself included, taking the ball from the centre-backs, playing out from the back, um, is that something you've been working on? Yeah, no, we're we're a technical and tactical team. We can we can play football like so. We'll play through the thirds. We'll try our best. We'll play out all we can. But it's not something that we work on. It's something that we've kind of worked on overall all year. Not that specifically, but yeah, it's just about your coaching. Really. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Colin, we're lucky. Colin gives us that freedom to go express ourselves and play. So. We're delighted, like so. Yeah, you can see he definitely trusts you. Uh, you seem to be a tight knit uh, group, and that showed when Matt scored the goal. Like, all these ran over together and were just celebrating. And it must have been great celebrating in front of the crowd and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, no, we're a very tight knit group. Like, it's we're all we're all very tight and stuff like that. So it's great, like when you have a group who are all who are all involved and all together. So it's good stuff. Yeah, some uh, skills on show as well. With I think about four quite turns in a row out there in the middle, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, I, was, I was just trying to get myself out of a sticky situation. So, <laughs> uh, but just overall, um, how, how did you uh, feel the game? I thought we were very dominant overall. Very unlucky toward, uh, at the end. We were very unlucky decisions. Obviously, didn't go our way. But um, what was it like when you went into the dressing room? Then after all the you know um, emotion, or whatever, and commotion, you suppose you could say too. But uh, did you find it in yourself? Like you had to pick up the dressing room with the manager? And what way was it? Yeah, no, I agree. I think we, we dominated most of the game. 80 minutes plus we dominated, so like it's obviously the result didn't go fully our way, but at the end of the day that's tournament football will take the point. All all teams in the all teams in the group are level, so it's back to square one, but obviously going into the change room people were disappointed and stuff like that, but tournament football you have to raise your head, brush off your shoulders and get ready to go again Monday, so that's what we'll do. Absolutely, and it's only the first game, you know, uh, at least it wasn't a loss, I suppose you could look at it that way. It might feel like a loss because we can see it so late, yeah. but, I mean, Czech Republic on Monday down in Waterford, yes. uh, I'm sure you get another packed out crowd down at the RSC, um, but just, it, just in regards to the Czech Republic, have you seen much of them yourself, um, um, or watched them today or anything like that? No, we didn't see their game today against Belgium, but tomorrow we'll, we'll get our heads on and start focusing on them and but mainly we're focused on ourselves and what we're working if we know our talent and that's the main thing but yeah we'll keep an eye on them absolutely love the confidence well uh, good luck on monday and i'll speak to you then all right well done all right